Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to do a first impression on some of the new products that I have purchased. And they are mainly from Sugar Cosmetics. As you can see, there is a sugar box. And so first, I'm just going to show you all what all products that I purchased. So there are not a lot of products in here, but I'm just going to quickly show you all what all I bought. So the first product that I was really excited about was the Sugar Ace of Face Foundation Stick and this is how it came in. This is in the shade 03 Cappuccino. So this foundation stick came in this sugar standard packaging with a beautiful abstract going on and the actual stick looks like so. So this foundation stick is made in Korea. I have already used their BB cream and I have bought the shade 03 which matches me perfectly. So I thought to go with 03 in this stick foundation as well. So now talking about the product, I really love how sleek this foundation stick is and I really love the matte black packaging. The shade name and number is also mentioned on the bottom of the stick. The foundation stick comes with the foundation on one side this is how it looks like and you get a lot of product so you just have to twist it and the product comes out so you get 12 gram of product and this foundation stick retails for $9.99 the best part about this foundation stick and I was really eager to use was the other end which comes with the brush. So this is the brush. It is very dense and very soft as well and it is also a very nice quality. So you have to apply this foundation stick and then use this brush to just blend this foundation into your skin which I think which is very travel friendly as well because I can easily touch up using this one so I wasn't knowing that this foundation stick retails for $9.99 which is I think it is too much for a foundation stick but I grabbed this deal on their Prime Access which is this so you get the uh, limited edition before their pre-launch so Pride Access is one of their offer in which you can get their newest and latest launch before it has been launched officially. So I bought this when there was an offer going on on their Pride uh, Access. So to get this foundation stick before it's been officially launched, I have to get some other products as well. And I bought all of these products for like 2000 and initially this uh, all of the products retails for 3000 but on offer i got all of this for like 2000 only and you just have to choose whatever products do you want so you have to just choose your shade then you have to choose any contour the force palette then the third one is to choose your uh, favorite eyeliner and then to choose your uh, smudge me not liquid lipstick then for the contouring palette, I have gone for the 02 shade because I already have 01 shade which is Subtle Submit. And then the third option is to choose your eyeliner. So I gone for the newest and latest launch by Sugar which was the Double Matte Liquid Eyeliner. So this is it. So this is how it came in. And then for the last option which is to choose a Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick, I bought the shade fairy berry which is a beautiful dark maroon shade so yeah that's all i bought i also bought this two free gifts from sugar so you get this pouch when you buy their products above 1000 so yeah i got this shade i also have their blue and golden pouch in this and then I also got this, this is a sugar calendar and it is very pretty as you can see all of the sugar products are drawn here and this is the calendar so I'm definitely going to use this one I'm going to keep this on my vanity it looks super cute so thank you sugar for this I really appreciate this and I really love sugar as a brand I love their lipsticks I can buy any lipstick and I wouldn't be regretting any day and I'm really eager to try all of these products now so let's get started the first product as I told you was the ace of face foundation I'm going to quickly 
uh, swatch this the foundation stick so I'm go just going to swatch this stick over here so this is the shade 03 I think this would match me I think it's a bit lighter than what baby cream in 03 looks like I think so what do you guys think yeah it's a little bit lighter but that's okay so all of the information regarding this foundation stick is mentioned on the cardboard box itself there's nothing mentioned on the actual product only the name and the shade is mentioned on this the only problem I feel is that you have to be a little bit careful while shutting the cap of the brush because some of the bristles just get into the way so you have to be a little careful so first I'm going to take the stick side and I'm going to apply this onto my face this is definitely a shade lighter than me but let's see now I'm going to take the other side which is the brush and I'm going to blend this out using this so as you guys can see I have blended this out using this brush but I must say this brush takes a lot of time while blending if you are in a hurry this is going to make your efforts double but I really love the coverage of this foundation stick I wish I have gone for a shade darker but I'm really liking the finish of this foundation stick it blends pretty good it's not that bad but I prefer my pack 214 brush so on the other side I'm going to blend this out using this brush but I'm quite happy with the coverage as well as the finish of this foundation So now I have applied it all over my face and I must say that the back foundation did a very good job blending this out. I did not like the brush on this other side. I am really disappointed and the only reason is because this is a really very tiny. If you want to apply this foundation on your neck, this is going to take forever to get blended. But if you're using any other brush, then this will look very nice on you but I'm highly impressed with the foundation stick itself the actual product is really very nice it is a very nice medium to full coverage as you can see there's nothing can be seen through this foundation all my flaws has been disappeared I don't even need concealer under my eyes and the finish is very matte I would say but it is also very uh, dewy wherever I have like it seems like I have applied a highlighter on my cheekbones but it is not but on the rest of my face it looks pretty matte so I really like that so if you're interested in the actual product I will highly recommend this stick to you guys brush also did a very good job of blending but it takes a little bit time that's the only con I feel about this product and I haven't used any primer on my face today and not even a moisturizer and I'm from a dry skin family so if you're using a stick foundation you need to apply a moisturizer I haven't done any sorts of that but still this foundation stick looks so pretty on my skin I'm really impressed now moving on to the next product I have the sugar contour the first palette in the shade 02 vivid victory and you guys know the packaging and stuff I have done a full review video on sugar products so I'm going to link it up you can go and check so this is how the palette comes in this is the shade 02 it is very pretty I also have the shade 01 so this is 01 and this is 02 so as you guys can see this is a 01 and this is 02 only the contouring shade is a bit darker in this and it is much more lighter in this and the blush is much more darker in this and very lighter in this and in this 02 palette you get a golden champagne color 
and in this 01 you get a very silvery sort of highlighter but before that I'm going to set my face using the sugar as nude as it gets compact powder in the shade 02 cappuccino so I'm just going to apply this under my eyes Here we go. also on my eyelids and a little bit on my nose because I get really oily on my nose yeah that's it to take this contouring shade now using my back 305 contouring brush I'm just going to pick up the product and then just apply it wherever I like to contour my face I feel like this shade is a bit warmer than what it is in 01 that shade is very cool tone and this is very warm tone as you guys can see it is very well blended into my skin and the shade is also perfect for like medium to deep skin tones I am from NC42 and this matches me perfectly now I'm going to take the blush it is very dark so I'm just going to dip my brush tap off the excess and then apply it to my cheek Now moving on to the uh, highlighter part, it looks pretty good in the pan, let's just see how it would look on my skin. Just going to apply it wherever I like to highlight my face. As you can see it is a very beautiful highlighter, it looks very blind and if you want you can always tone it down by using just a little bit product but i really love my highlighter to be popping now for my eyes i already have done a review plus a demo video on the on the sugar eyeshadow quad so for this video i'm going to apply all these three shades onto my eyelids and i will be back I'm really very impressed with this palette as well. The one which is Subtle Submit is also very nice and very good for medium skin tones. But you can definitely try the 02 as well. I'm highly impressed with both of these palettes. But for deeper skin tones, I will suggest to go for 021 because the blush can show a little bit more than the blush which comes in this palette. So yeah. Then for my eyes, I have the new Sugar I Want You So uh, Double Matte Liquid Eyeliner in the shade 01 Black Swan. So this is how it came in, in the standard sugar packaging. And I also have the Sugar I Told You So Smudge Proof Eyeliner in the shade Black Swan. And both of this liner look pretty similar as you can see. But this one has a matte finish on this area wherever the name has been written and overall it is very glossy like this one and the new eyeliner which is the sugar i want you so double matte liquid eyeliner retails for 6.99 so now i'm just going to quickly make a wing out of this eyeliner I didn't find any difference in it it's a tad bit matte than the other one that's all I didn't find anything very new or very impressive in this one and this one is also not at all a waterproof it is just a water resistant as as the smudge proof one so you can buy any one of them there's nothing much different or unique now for my mascara, I'm going to use this new mascara which I haven't used yet which is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and it is their False Lash Effect Mascara 
and I really love the packaging of this mascara and it is very much raved on YouTube as well and it is very cute as you can see and I bought this from Nika when there was a sale going on on Essence so the one of this mascara is also really good this mascara retails for 449 which is around 450 for 12 ml of product so now I'm just going to apply this mascara and see whether this definitely works or not So as you can see I have applied the mascara on this eye and this eye doesn't have any mascara on and I'm really impressed with this mascara because it has definitely given me much more volume and length to my lashes and my lower lash line looks amazing. So now I'm done with my mascara the only thing I have with me right now is my lips and I bought the sugar smudge me not liquid lipstick in the shade 17 fairy berry. So this is how it looks like. It is a very pretty dark maroon shade. So now I'm just going to apply this lipstick. And this particular video was not on a particular makeup look this was just for the uh, review on some of the products and my first impression what I feel about this product so yeah if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and if you want me to make such videos then please comment down below and let me know till then I will see you next time bye bye